In this video, guys, we are going to look at what is an options contract. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a warm welcome to you. So brief guide to what is an options contract. It's gonna be a series of videos discussing options, talking about options. So if you wanna learn about options or you wanna kind of just get your head around it, maybe you're gonna trade them, maybe you're looking at them, maybe you just wanna learn a little bit more, hit the subscribe button because more are gonna be coming out. All right, so what is an options contract? Very, very broadly, it is a contract between a buyer and a seller. Right? The seller is often called a writer, the buyer is often called a holder. And it is the option to purchase a specific stock or asset, that could be a commodity, a currency pair, a stock, um, an index basket, an ETF, at a specific price at a specific time in the future. Now, it sounds complicated, but let's look at some examples in a second. But just thing to remember now is that the buyer has the choice whether to do that, the seller is, has the obligation. So the buyer has the choice, but not the obligation, but the seller is obliged to if the buyer requests it. So let's have a look at an example. We've got a buyer here and a seller. The buyer will pay what's called the premium and the seller will give that buyer the contract, the options contract. It says, hey, go, there's your option. You've got the option to do what you've asked to do. Now, the price of the option, we're going to do a whole video on that. But broadly speaking, it depends on the underlying asset. Like I say, that could be an individual stock. That could be a commodity like crude oil, gold, silver. It could be uh, an, in uh, an indice. So it could be, uh, which will be actually based on futures, so S&P 500, or it could be an index in terms of uh, an ETF. So it could be S&P 500 spiders option. Basically anything that's trading, that's reasonably liquid, you're gonna be able to get an option for. Strike price, that's the price that the buyer of the option wants to have as his kind of price level. So it could be $100, it could be $5, it doesn't matter. That's his choice and he'll buy an option depending on what he wants. And we'll talk about in a moment why he might want to adjust his strike price. The expiration date, so how long and far in the future does that option need to be valid for? Are we talking about a week? We've got weekly options, talking about multiple years. What is it? And the type, is it a put option or a call option? Again, going to go into this massive detail, but just broadly speaking, a put option is the right to sell that underlying asset and a call option is the right to buy the underlying asset. So call, generally you've got a bullish outlook, put, you've got a bearish outlook if you're a buyer of the options. Let's have a little look at an example, a brief example. So you've got a $100 call in ABC expiry January 2019. So the buyer is saying, hey, what I want to do here is I want the option to purchase ABC stock at the price of $100 at January 2019. So he's been very specific with what he wants. So in other words, if the price of ABC stock is $120 in January 2019, this guy's happy because he's got the option to purchase that stock and it'd be the amount of contracts he buys. Well, again, we'll go into more depth about that later, but the amount of contracts he buys, but he's happy because he's gonna exercise the option and say, yep, yeah, I'll take that, thank you very much. Here is my uh, money and you're giving me stock at $100. So this, in, in that case, the seller wouldn't be very happy. The buyer would be very happy. If you look at the same example here, uh, let's say in January 2019, the price of that stock was ABC stock was $80. The option's worthless, right? Because who wants to buy a stock at $100 that is currently $80? So the seller is very, very happy because he's got that premium, he's, he's sold that option. The option is now expired worthless. The buyer's sad, the seller's happy. Let's look at another example in terms of a put. So a put option is the option to sell the underlying asset at the specific price at a specific expiry date in the future. In this case, again, for ease of, of comparison, $100 in ABC stock expiry January 2019. Let's look at those examples again. So January 2019, the stock is trading at 110. If you've got the right or the option to sell that stock at 100, would you take it? No, it's me, it's pointless. You can get it in the market 120. All of a sudden, that option becomes worthless. However, if that trades, if that's trading at 80 bucks and you've got the option to sell stock at 100 bucks, you're gonna take that all day long because there's a 20 buck 
profit in that straight away. So if you bought that put option and you generated the right, but not the obligation to sell the stock at 100 and it happens to be 80, you are definitely gonna take that up and you're gonna say, yep, I'm gonna take that up. And the seller of that option has to oblige and do what was laid out in the contract. Anyway, guys, stay tuned for the next series of videos where we go into a lot more depth on this. We work out exactly what your motivation would be why you would pick a specific strike price, what the motivation of the seller would be, the motivation of the buyer, how we can trade options to make money, how we can use them as insurance and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, that's a broad outline of what is an options contract. See you next one, guys. Bye-bye.